John took care of Giorgio for a lot of a lot of energy. I, spent a, I spent a lot of time with him. I started doing interviews with him, and then somehow I just started buying groceries for him. And then, like Jesse said, just doing everything else for him. The Raul didn't do, but when I got on the scene, Raul didn't actually have to do as much. But um, it's funny because through the powers of Facebook, when you suddenly get reminded of when um, what you were doing like six, seven, eight, nine years ago, whenever you got on it, you put pictures. But in the last few months, it reminded me about a load of different things I was doing with Giorgio because I just spent a lot of time with him. Then I went off to LA about six years ago, and he called me up. Oh yeah, Sharon, who's just walked in, she introduced me to Giorgio. But actually, that was by accident because when I was working with Gold in London. They said, when you're next in, in New York, you've got to meet Giorgio. And then it just so happened that I was working with Sharon, who's over there. And she said one night, oh, it's Giorgio's birthday. It's his 75th. So we all went down there with um, Laurie Eastside as well. They used to have rocker size that they used to do there. And I got talking to Giorgio that night, and I said I wanted to interview him about goal. And he said, well, come over tomorrow. We will talk about this. And so I took my cameras and shit. And the next day he said, well, I will tell you about Gong, but first I will tell you my life history. And about six hours later, I walked out thinking, that guy must be so full of shit. I did the stories he told me within those six hours. But the more I got to know him, the more I got to realize how many different stories there were. But we had a really good time. He, um, he was a grumpy old git, quite a curmudgeon, but then he also had a very soft side as well. And... Uh, I was really happy to know him, and I got to know him even better. I, I used to um, time the times I'd go and see him. Like when Chelsea were playing, you know, you didn't have to spend far too long with him, but if there was nothing going on, he would keep you there for hours. Anyway, I think you're ready to do something else now. Story. 